What's going on, people? Let's just go ahead and drop it so it's be forever dropped. This is going to be a stream outlining 10x to 20x your income using disruptive money and how to start selling from scratch. Disruptive money consulting, how to start selling stuff, how to sell starting from scratch. If you're not interested in buying anything, if you're in that, just tune this out because I'll be talking about the thing that is going to start now with payment links and all that. So I'll let uh, people leave the room. I'll let people stampede out. I'll let them go. Hold on. I'll take a little drink. All right. The room should be clear. How is everybody? Hopefully it's not raining where you are. It's been raining here about 10 days straight. It's been very interesting. You know, what we're going to talk about is the structure of how to sell from scratch and the disruptive money consulting course. Plus, there's some other stuff in here. So let me jump into this. Whoa, that's not where I want to be. That's where I want it to be. There you go. All right. So we're just going to get into it. Now, what I'm doing, and I'll address questions in a minute, because this is not going to take that long. How to sell from scratch plus disruptive mail consulting. Let's make money. This is launching September 1st. Uh, the beta pricing will be $4.99. Uh, we'll talk about how you can get that for cheaper. Second pricing will be 1000 And first stage pricing will be September 15th. I don't know where I got a dollar sign there and be twenty five hundred. Now, why is that? Let's talk about that because I'm going to hire someone and it's going to get more expensive. Now, what we're going to do, and this is how to sell from scratch the course. It's going to be 12 weeks or however fast you breeze through the course. But week one will be audience development. We will talk about what is an audience? Where do you find an audience? How do you talk to an audience? There's there's a lot more to audience development than it versus saying, hey, there's this group of people over here who are buying fidget spinners. So since I know that there's a group of people over here buying fidget spinners, I'm going to go out and get some fidget spinners and sell them to them. What you're doing is bird dogging. Someone else did the work. You're going out and getting products. But the thing is, if you don't do your research, you don't know if that thing is on its way out or has the wave been hit or is it just not as much money in it uh, week two find an audience first there are many many different audiences out there there are audiences that literally very few people even address there's so many out there but everyone's trying to crowd into weight loss fitness beauty there's more markets out here in 2009 I wrote a book. You may know about it. Make money A to Z with self storage and auctions. There, there was no audience at the time for resellers. I knew that there were resellers out there, but it wasn't this defined as it is now. I mean, resell people are becoming like superstars now. It's because the market is now defined. The market is mature. There's a lot of information, but, and this is going to get into developing the audience. What I did was I developed an audience, which is hard, but there's a lot of money in developing your audience. There's a whole bunch of money in developing your audience and serve the audience. Uh, what we'll be talking about are products. See, one, audience development, two, find an audience, developed audience, and four, which is the money part, that's when you come in with the product. So we're going to go through all of that. Week five, the offer. This is probably the second most, I don't know. I would say it's just as important as the audience is, the offer. So we'll talk about what an offer is, what constitutes an offer, then how to develop an offer, how to test the offer, then how to scale the offer. The offer. Uh, week nine, selling online customer service. Uh, week 10, selling in person phone work. Week 11, selling marketing referral development. Week 12, sales process, repeat customers. So that's like how to sell from scratch. Now, 
disruptive male consulting is just going to go through all of these things, except we're going to do it in six weeks because <laughs> we're going to be talking and we're going to be nailing out some stuff because uh, what I'm going to do with the first crew, uh, I might even print up some t-shirts with first crew disruptive money. It sounds kind of hot. We may do it. Then consulting is going to get a little different. We're going to talk about branding and messaging. Branding and messaging are very, very important. A lot of people just skip over it. Uh, right now, Disruptive Mail is a brand. It's a very small brand, but it's a brand that makes money. And it's only six months. It's really, it's, I didn't really, I started the channel in January, but I really didn't start posting content until like the last four months. So it's a brand that is four months over old. It has a look. It has a feel, it has a certain uh, texture to it, and that's why I'm not like uh, going to post legal stuff on that channel. I'm going to have to change the channel art because the legal stuff is going to go to Disruptive Money. So it's going to be like two co-brands, Disruptive Money, Disruptive Mail. There'll be a little overlap, but they'll be distinctively different. Uh, direct one-on-one -on -one assistance in growing your business with special assignments unique to your business situation. I have a lot of people say, hey, man, I want to holler at you. I want to pick your brain. It costs money to pick this brain because I am actually running businesses. What I'm going to teach you is the stuff that I am doing. It's not going to be some stuff that I'm not doing. I'm going to teach you what I'm doing, exactly what I'm doing. And we will set up your holding company and LLC structures in the development of business credit. Why? Because we're going to learn how to sell. Um, once again, once you know how to sell, once you know how you have money coming in, then yeah, develop the business credit. But de developing business credit without selling and marketing skills is a recipe for disaster. Uh, direct advice of setting up your company sale, marketing, customer service program, tax prep. And let's talk about that. Uh, when I put out, because the, the tax course is coming out, you need to start your tax prep January 1st. You cannot start your tax prep December or, you know, file your taxes for 2018, then start your tax prep 2019. That ain't going to work. Uh, creating durable business models that can grow or be sold in the future. You're going to set your companies up to be sold. Whether you sell them or not is immaterial, but just doing that is going to be able for you to assign value to your company, see what the marketplace will say, just for tax purposes, for wealth building purposes, estate planning and prep, long range planning. Now, the consulting will be done in Slack. Now, some of you are familiar with it. Some of you may not be familiar with it. Essentially, it's just gonna be a database to log all of the calls, all of the assignments, all of the tasks, and you can just sign into your dashboard and see what's going on with wherever we are with you at all times. So that information will be readily available. Now, under the video, I have three payment plans. There's pay in full, there is uh, uh, two pay and a three pay under the video. Now, after this first crew, this first crew, the price is going to go up because I will have one or two more people in the office and they'll be handling the customer service stuff and all this other stuff. So that's why the price is going up. So that's it. Pretty much is real simple and easy. And let's see if we have any questions. Because I'm telling you, this this ain't rocket science because we, we will be doing a lot of stuff. All right. What's going on? All right. Any questions? Because I went through that really quick because um, it's going to be a lot of work just to be really, really clear. No questions. So I did a great job of explaining it. I'm going to put this back up just for a second and I'm going to open up another window so I can see if there's any questions. I know there's like a 30 second delay. Now, while you're coming up with questions, let's talk about the waiting list. This is an artificial scarcity. I can only deal with so many people per session. I'm one person. Uh, we may, because right now it's 15 to 20 people. 
So what's going to happen once I get 15 to 20 people, I'm going to make an announcement. It's like, hey, everyone else here is going on a wait list for the next class. I'll make an announcement. I'll explain it. If you know you've already paid and you want your money back, I'll just give you your money back or you can let me hold it and then you'll be first position for the next class. Uh, these will be running six weeks. Let's see. Let me open up another window so I can see. Uh, here we go. There we go. What the people have to say. Awesome. There we go. All right. We have no questions. I did it. <laughs> All right. That's funny. All right. So I will explain how the calendar will work. And also where I don't have a pen. This sucks. So let's talk about the days. And this is. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll just use this. I must be setting up front. Um, struggle days. This right here is for 10x, 20x your income, disrupted money, how to sell, starting from scratch. That that's a big that's a big question you're asking. I have no clue to who you are, what you're doing, how you you know. There's a lot of things that go into that. So that pen doesn't work. I can't believe I don't have a... Ah, here we go. About to say, I should have something on my desk. All right. So I'm going to let you know how the calls will go. I can pretty much take three calls, and this is why there's only going to be 15 to 20 people. Maybe three calls a day, three to five, and I'm going to give you a breakdown why it's like that. On days that I work out, I can only do three calls. On days that I don't work out, I can do five. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, so three, three, five, three, three, six, six. So that's 17 people on a three, three per day with a five day in there. And there's some days that I don't work out because I'm sore and or I haven't really slept well and I've learned not to do that so I don't injure myself. All right. So that's how it's going to go. Now, no one has any questions. This is interesting. What's up, Archangel? Let's see how long we've been going. Like I said, I went over this real quick because we'll be talking about it some more. Uh, we'll be talking about. Let's see, where are we with this? OK, we're at like 13 minutes. Seriously, no questions. <laughs> None. I know I'm good, but come on. If I don't get any questions, I'm just going to close. All right. <laughs> People must be coming in at all kinds of data points. I wonder if uh, people are coming in at the beginning and they're watching all of this. And that's why it's taking a minute to get to the questions. Once again, this is two different things. Now it says 2,500. I explained that. Because that's supposed to be September 15th. That's actually in there. Um, all right. Since we're going to get here, I'm going to go to struggle days since he asked this question. I'm selling my truck to get out of debt. Any advice? How much debt are you into? Uh, Derek Hawkins, do it. Lance Brown, so the total plan is $2,900. Yes. 
Johnny Walton, this will be about selling any type of product. Yes. Good question. Um, and we go in here, uh, selling online and selling in person. Uh, depend on who you are, what you like. Let's say someone has a lawn service. Well, we're going to get this lawn service. Where we're going to 10 X the income because I have studied this industry and I see people that just don't do it the right way. They, there's just so many things that if they instituted it into their business, they would 10 X their income in a year. Mr. Winters, Glenn, I just wanted to let you know, you continue to motivate us. The wife didn't like you at first, but now she's running the business too. Thanks a million. <laughs> you know, it's been a while. It's been a while since I heard about someone's wife. A lot of wives didn't like me because I tell the truth about female nature. I tell the truth. That's funny. But I'm glad you two are doing it. What kind of business does she have? Uh, I'm starting to sell on eBay, Craigslist. What program you you suggest for me starting out? Well, let's do this. What do you want to do, Struggle Days? How much money you want to make? Let's start there. So I appreciate that, Baruch. Because I'm really going to get away from eBay and Craigslist and Amazon and stuff. That's one of the reasons I shut down the consulting business last year. I need a break too. We're going to get into very interesting things. <clears throat> really? A brick and mortar dessert shop. You know, there's a donut place that's not too far from where I live. And I remember when they opened up because they only stay open, they open like seven and they close at three. And they've been in that space going on five years. Okay, you're selling your truck to focus on starting a business. Um, struggle days, let's, let, let, let's talk about that. Okay. <clears throat> Your truck, do you do you have any other business skills? Because I'm going to tell you to sell your truck to focus on selling on eBay and Amazon may be a very bad way to go. Yeah, like uh, I'm getting away from eBay and Amazon because I think I did a video on that. I can't remember it because what happens is once you start making that money way, that way, it becomes addictive. You get stuck. So struggle days, what type of life do you want? Because one of the things we're going to talk about here is starting businesses. Well, first of all, there's going to be depending on who you are, because th this is one of the things that's really hard to quantitate in an open forum with a bunch of people with different personalities, different skill sets. So it's real hard to kind of like, hey, everybody do this and it works. So you're going to do Airbnb. Eric Coke, you called it. Another one's going down. Brookstone filed for bankruptcy and will close its remaining. Wow. Brookstone's been around a long time. That is. You know, actually, well, to take a little departure. I've been in the mall. This year two or three times and it was to the Apple store. That was the only reason I've gone to the mall in recent days. I've not, I just go in straight. I park as close to the Apple store as possible. Get in, get out and get my products. So that, that is really interesting. You're going to start seeing a lot of stuff like the Apple's, like Apple is the first trillion dollar company. Yeah. Amazon will probably be second, maybe others. It could be a third. But one of the reasons you guys need to get your hustle. So let's go ahead and say you go ahead and you sign up for 
How to Sell from Scratch, which will launch September 1st. You're going to need that to get your business going. So struggle days. All right, so you, your truck's paid off. Now, Tim, a, he's got like a semi truck. He's got one of those trucks. He doesn't have like a pickup truck. Uh, Cash from Clutter. Once again, I think he's like a over the road truck driver. So that that's one of the things I think you can correct me if you, um, I'm wrong. Struggle days, because one of the things is, and let's take struggle days situation, and let's get with the estate planning. So you'll get someone, they'll start a business, right? And they will not think about 10 years in the future. They will not think about 15 years in the future. They won't think 20 years in the future. But as Sally Mae Jones used to say, if you live long enough, you're going to get old and that time's going to pass. So you go ahead and start a business just to make money with no purpose. That's going to get kind of old. I'm just going to tell you from experience. All right, so you got to struggle. Uh, Charles Hall, the all the payment plans are below the video. There's a three payment plan. There's a disruptive money two payment plan. They're all below the, the video and also the consulting wait list. Uh, what I plan on doing since it's just me now until I hire some the right people. It's going to be six week cycles. I'm probably going to do six weeks, take a week off, then start another crew. So there's going to be people. Con this is going to be constantly going on. So Charles, all, all of the links are below. And like I said, once I get to the point where I have, you know, too many people, I will remove the payment links and just say, look, get on the wait list. And whenever spots open up, then I will open it up again. Archangel, you know, service businesses, I've had hit a wall. I just uh, did just get two more teams. It's just in time. I need to understand how to sell a sub direct some direct marketing. What kind of service business do you have? Archangel. Yeah, I figure that because one of the things is uh, a lot of the over the road guys make a lot of money, but they're stuck because they have no time. They're on the road and maybe a weekend here or there and usually they're tired. Do you own out that rental in their Stone Mountain Park? Do you own it or you or is cash flow positive? Because one of the things that we're going to talk about is because this this is in here. But let's say you have no experience. And this is one of the, the situations that come across a lot. I'll have someone. They're ambitious. They want to do some, but they don't know where to get started. So we're going to have like a little experiment lab because. One of the reasons this works well for me is it works on my natural propensities. I like doing this stuff. I don't get tired of it. But if you just go ahead and create a job for yourself that will just get money and you don't like it, it's going to get old. So any more. Uh, yeah, Johnny Walden. I mean, it's it's hard because a lot of truck drivers, and I, I heard O'Shea talk about it, a lot of truck drivers support a lot of these channels, but the thing is, it's hard for them to get out that truck into a business model. It's very, very challenging. Contractor, residential model, moving into commercial multifamily. There's a guy here who does a very good job of doing contract. And I'm going to tell you, he only contracts in this neighborhood. He doesn't do it. Well, the, the base supports that. I mean, but there's definitely a way that you can do it. Okay. So you're renting it <clears throat> or are you renting it out? And once again, struggle days, what do you want to do? And I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but when I ask people these questions, it's cool to say, I really don't want to know. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't thought that far. Uh, that's another thing that we're going to do with the consulting. 
our first session, we're going to have a conversation. What do you want to do? What do you want out of life? And the answer is like, I want to make as much money as I can. That ain't going to fly. <laughs> That's just not going to fly. We're going to, if you, if you, you know, and everything's on the table. Say you want to have a beach house. Okay. We're going to reverse engineer what, what it takes to get you that beach house. Uh, Derek Hawkins, will you cover copywriting in your course? Copywriting will be with the offer. So, yes. That's a seriously good plan, uh, Tim A. You know how much stock footage caught? This is why I shoot my own stuff. There is a... 12 second clip that I wanted to use and it was 75 bucks. Oh, it, it's, um, you definitely want to diversify because we will be talking about how to set up your business. So you like, all right, say this guy, I don't know him and I, I know who he is, but I don't know if this is his only source of income. I know where he lives. I know he lives in a million dollar house and his wife has another business. So he definitely has two sources of income. We're going to talk about that, too. All right. Struggle days. I want three main sources of income. Airbnb, YouTube investments. OK. And zero twenty three very hard for a truck. I mean that that's one of the big things because they get a lot of truckers who want to do some stuff, but it means climbing out that truck, which means ending their income. Okay. You know, um, when I was out here looking for some property, I noticed that a lot of people are doing the Airbnb. A lot of the houses were furnished. And they were trying to get five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month for them. So it's a hot market. Airbnb is very, very hot. So any more questions about the course? Because we'll be having more conversations about this, but I just wanted to put this up here because how to sell from scratch. Now, every below is a uh, Get disruptive money free. There's a link below. You go ahead and sign up for it. Then another page opens up where I have affiliate deals where if you use your code, post your code on your Facebook page, post it on your Instagram, wherever, the more people that you get, and it's all tracked, so I can look in there and say, hey, uh, Azara23 got 25 people, so you get me 25 people to sign up on the list, you get a free course, and I'll send you 500 bucks. So. Mark, are you talking? We're going to talk about that because this is for the people who don't have any experience. And they want to get out of whatever they're doing. They're going to have to develop a hustle, but we're going to look at the kind of hustle that they need to develop. It will be slowed down in the market while this course is going on. What do you mean? Uh, Derek, just Google stock footage. You, you'll see it. And all these sites have it where you can just go out and record stuff and upload it there and people buy it and you get paid. Is the car B&B going? What are you talking about? Johnny Walden. I don't understand. So for you folks, because essentially time is money. So let's say you sign up for the consulting package and you have no experience. First thing we're going to do is a questionnaire of what you're good at. And we're going to, you know, it's going to be some work. Cause one of the things is you're going to have homework after every call. 
You're going to have to have things to do because activity is what's going to get you money. Not thinking, not, quote, trying to work smart, but activity. What do you mean the activity? I don't understand, Archangel. You know, sometimes I wish there wasn't a 30-second delay. Desire 23, I'm thinking about Airbnb in my house for the Super Bowl. On another note, you have me a little nervous if I should either, ever stay in my house because you said it's about to sell. You mentioned staying mobile. Oh, no, 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 no. I am I'm in, I'm going in another house. I'm go <laughs> All right, once again, I did this video. When I make moves, y'all should not apply what I'm doing to your situation because these moves are predicated on totally different stuff. Oh, the car rentals. I don't really know. I mean, I've never done it. And since I've gotten away from that type of stuff, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'm Fresh 145, College Towns. If you own real estate, Airbnb is the bank for home coming games and rival games. Check out hotel, pri hotel prices and scale from there. Oh, like I said, a lot of people like Airbnb and B is hot. I know someone that has four houses and she only does Airbnb. But once again, out of her four houses, three are paid off. So even if she has a down month, she doesn't have a mortgage to deal with and so it just depends. So I'm still waiting. Do you have the info or thumbnail that can go with the link? I don't understand. You mean a landing page? Oh, Uberman rents out cars. He's he's come up in the world. And I mean that seriously. Uh, no tips. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to Digital Money. I'll be addressing that stuff there, Joshua Hill. The contracting business will start slowing down because it was getting cold in September. This is a perfect time. Well, see, this this is one of the things, and this is a good question, Archangel, or a well, good statement. Castle, when it gets cold down here, he, he's busy year-round. It doesn't stop. So that's one of the things we'll talk about. Uh, I think they're all great, Jamar. <laughs> Roberto, Bake, Roberto Blake's going to be on the show at Digital Money at some point in the future. So any more questions about how to sell from scratch in disruptive mail consulting? Let's make some money. Now let's talk about the days. Let me bring up my calendar and I got some short term stuff. It's going to be, what is today? The day is Thursday. Okay. So Tuesday is gone and Wednesday is almost full. So I'll have the 13th. 14th to 15th to 16th. So everyone that signs up tonight, you will automatically get slotted for next Wednesday, which is the 8th. Then the people, depending on if that's a workout day or not, I may have three calls or I may have five. And one of the reasons that I can't, I can only do three on the days I work out, I'm doing two a days. It gives me a lot of energy, but it does take a minute. Auto Leisure, I think eBay is going to be hot for people who sell unique and hard to find stuff. 
the beige report from the government is noticing a big slowdown in real estate. <laughs> I noticed that months ago. But once again, it, if you're in the market, you'll see this. eBay will be phasing out. How are they going to take payment? I'm just curious about that. How many of you have no experience but want to start a business? There's going to be a lot of things that let's just kind of talk about what you can do with a direct response, direct marketing plan. Let's say, all right, let's go with our change of three, five, seven, nine contracting. So you're a contractor, you've got trucks, you've got crews, right? There's other ways to move them into other things. And we'll talk about that in disruptive money. Because one of the things that you got to do, like, let's talk about my situation. Usually the summer is slow. In the last two years, the summer hasn't been slow because I've been marketing. Um, let's see. Disruptive money, not disruptive money, disruptive mail accounted for $5,000 last month that if I didn't have it, if it I, being disruptive mail, I wouldn't have made those 5000 last month. All right, so we got Hugo, we got Brittany Green, Yolanda, Derek Hawkins. All of y'all have jobs? I'm, I'm saying this for a reason, because you're not going to be able to quit your job anytime soon. Just want to be real clear. Okay. Because for everyone who has a job, but no experience, then how to sell from scratch will be good for you. The coaching may be out of reach for a lot of you, the consultant, but it would be good because one of the things that I've learned from the last time I did this is you get so much once you start talking to somebody. It's like, hey, you know, um, what makes you, what do you want to do? How do you want to do it? So let's, for everyone that wants to start a business, but they have a job, you're going to have to keep your job. Uh, and let's talk about why that's the case. You have a job, you hate your job, your job sucks. So you quit it to run a business. Now, this is what happens. First of all, you got to make money to live and you have to make money to run the business. Businesses consume cash. So now you need this business to grow, pay you, pay for itself. At some point, it'll get to that point. But in the beginning, that's just too much. That's why you got to keep your job. Jenny Wong, last business I tried myself was cutting grass and repairing washing machine dryers. That can be a real, I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you exactly how they did it. There was this Indian couple that was across the street from us when we we're in Lawrenceville Highway with upscale with uh, Frankie's Depot and they were doing so well all they sold the bulk of what they sold were washer and dryers and they occasionally sold refrigerators but mostly they sold washers and dryers and they had a guy that would go out and get these washer and dryers they were broke and they would fix them and they would sell them And they actually ended up buying a building. I haven't been over there in a while. I don't know if they're still there, but they actually moved from the building across the street from us further down to their own building. All right, Derek, that's realistic. I like that to your plan. Wow, that's crazy. Any more questions? Because uh, essentially... What has to happen for some people to live up to their potential is they're going to need help, but they're going to need someone to talk to. They're going to need someone to say, hey, you know, I need help. I have a question. And that's what we're going to do. Hugo Gonzalez, what do you think about drop shipping? It seems to be the big thing right now. 
Uh, drop shipping is great if you're selling a drop shipping course. It's amazing. You can make millions a month if you're selling a drop shipping course. I, I'm going to ask this question like this, Hugo. You go to a website and you order something and it takes two to three to four weeks for you to get it. How do you feel about that company? Also, I think a lot of drop shippers are about to get caught with their pants down because many of these Asian companies have warehouses in California, so their shipping times can be two days or faster if they choose express delivery. There can be drop shipping models that work, but um, they're going to take they're going to take some work to work them. Alex G, I think you should start to try to stay in your field when starting the side business. Depends, really depends. Because one of the things is when we have these conversations here on YouTube, it's very general because let's see, let's take you, Alex G. Let's say you're an engineer. What can engineers do on the side? Let's say you're an engineer, but you have a passion or you really like working on cars. So you it's going to be kind of hard for you to, unless you start a company and develop a product and do your, use your engineer skills that way. But if you're good at turning the wrench, you can open up an auto shop. Uh, one of the guys, he used to work on Hondas, nothing else that was next to us. He had three people working for him, and Russell was doing close to a million a year. Just working on Hondas. That was it. Auto Leisure, you have to be a digital marketing wizard with Facebook, Google AdWords. I totally agree. Even if you have a lot of money, if you don't know how those systems work and you don't hire someone that knows how those systems work, you're going to lose your money. Mark A, they make millions off of those courses. Now they make it millions. Struggle days, I was so happy to get. <laughs> That's funny. Now, what's going to happen is, first of all, let's go ahead and just give you the lay of the land. I have to work on these training platforms one at a time, like talk dirty to me. I love that course. I love where it's going. And in a few weeks, it'll be finished. Then I'm going to start another course at Disruptive Mail. Now, I'm going to do a lot of this course with the people that I'll be training. So it's going to be a nice dovetail. Drop shipping is more about digital marketing. Uh, the, the people that I know, and I know, I know of this guy. I don't know him, but I know of him. Uh, he did like thirty million dollars from sh selling drop shipping courses last year, and he did drop ship for a while. But he found out that there was way more money in selling the courses. Barford, if I buy my own truck. Do I put another driver in it and still keep my driving job or drive my business truck myself? Great question, Barfield. If you want to grow a business, you would find another driver for your truck and keep your job. Joseph, there are people who already do that. Just join the groups on Facebook. Kids do blow a lot of money on cars. Jump us up. I'm working on learning whiteboard animation so I can build YouTube channels and sales funnels. Okay. John Doe. Quick question. From your opinion, what do you think will be one of the best marketing skills that a guy in his late 20s can learn within a year? YouTube. <laughs> yes, YouTube. If you can learn how to make YouTube successful, that is a six-figure to a seven figure job for you. YouTube is marketing. If you can learn YouTube marketing and YouTube marketing is the hardest marketing. It's harder.
than Google AdWords. It's harder than Facebook because there's a sequence of events that you have to do. So that's it. Or you can learn Facebook advertising. You can learn Google AdWords, Google Display Network. But how does one learn? One's going to have to spend some money. <laughs> a lot of money. All right. Any more questions about the course? All right. So this is how we do this. Below the video, there are three different payment options. Disruptive money payment option. One is pay in full. Once you pay. Oh, well, and then there's disrupting money option two. And there's disrupted money option three. Now you pay in full. You immediately get first priority. Once you pay, I'm going to email you and we're going to set up a time for our first conversation. Give you your Slack credentials for you folks on the payment plans. You must pay in full before we start talking. Now, during this first session, the first crew is three thousand dollars. But once I get all fancy and stuff and get a crew in here, it's going to go up. So if you want to reserve your place for the next session, then it would be great for you to get on one of these payment plans. I'm just saying. And I'll send you an email saying, look, this is what we're going to do. Just to let everyone know, like you go for the payment plan, you're, you're going to start like September. Because the payment plans are once a month. Cody Wyman, I'm using YouTube or learning how to use YouTube, use YouTube to grow my business. YouTube, YouTube is amazingly very, very powerful. Uh, Auto Leisure, I'm currently learning digital marketing, applying at agencies, which I will soon create a course. Yeah, because, I mean, you got to do it. You got to do it. Hugo. That's funny. I know everything about drop shipping, but I get more money by teaching people how to do it instead of doing it myself. <laughs> you, <laughs> Hugo Gonzalez just told dropped a lot of truth in the chat stream. So everybody need to give Hugo a round of applause because a lot of people won't say that. But that's what it is. And I'm going to tell you why you make more money teaching people how to do it than doing it. Doing drop shipping is very hard. You have cost of goods. You have the cost of advertising. So let's say you have a $20 product, but the product costs you 10 bucks and you spend $7 marking in it. You net out at two bucks and some change. Well, you sell a $30 course, you net out at $29 and some change. So, Derek Hawkins, do you cover making videos in this course? No. What's going to happen with digital money is that's when that's going to happen. To do YouTube marketing is, is a very broad it's not something that I can, let's put it this way, to do YouTube marketing will take like another 12-week course just on YouTube. Uh, thumbnails, titles, messaging. So, no, th that YouTube marketing will not be in this course. What's up, Mr. Stewart? Appreciate you. YouTube is awesome for that. It really is. So, once again... The payment links are below, and if you get on a payment plan, you, we will talk once you finish paying. Now, what's going to happen is this is going to go up for the second class. So if you get a payment plan now, you lock in your prices. If you start paying, I'm not going to say, well, all right, you already paid 3000 Now I need another 3000 That will not happen. You'll be locked in. Just a uh, word to the wise. And you will see me doing a lot of different stuff with YouTube. Any more questions? Because I'm getting ready to shut this down. 
and I'll be talking about it here and there. But, you know, just to put something out, because a lot of people wanted to know what was going to happen, how this was going to happen. And I'm still waiting for Archangel because I didn't understand what he meant. Uh, something. I don't I don't really know what he was talking about. And he's gone. All right. So no more questions. All right. Links are below. It's a uh, first come first serve. Let's see. We got a question. Mark A. The problem that I have with some of a lot of these marketers is they sell people on the ability to make money without having any business skills and any business sense. <clears throat> yeah, that would be a problem. That that would be a problem. But once again, you have to understand who they are marketing to. They're not marketing to people who are 30 years old. They're marketing to millennials. Millennials, like uh, there was an article that I posted in, in my Facebook group that the construction industry is having a hard time because millennials are like, I ain't trying to do that. I'm not trying to swing a hammer. No, the payment plan is like 3600 for the three month. The best one is the two month because the two month, I believe, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, the two month plan is the same as one, you know, if you just pay in full. So, no, it's not 4000. I mean, once again, this is something that we're going to address in audience. All right, if I was a, if I wanted to be a scammer, and at one point everybody was claiming that I was a scammer, that I was doing all this nefarious stuff, and all those people who made those claims, all of them are gone. It's interesting because that's what they were trying to do. With I know, what I know about audience development, I can come out with some bullshit product, hook up with some people over at, um, God, what's the name of it? I forget the name of the website. And just go ahead and roll out a bunch of bullshit that I don't care about that makes a lot of money. I don't like, I don't do business that way. Uh, like this house deal is a win-win deal. I'm not trying to stick anybody because you have to live with yourself. And there's some people who don't care. They're, they're going to get money any way possible. And typically those folks don't ever get to that long-term wealth. Mark A, do you have any advice for someone doing cold calling? If you will see week 10 selling in person phone work, we're going to talk about that because even though this is 2018 and we have the internet, picking up the phone still gets you a lot of business. ClickBank, thank you, Lieutenant Johnson. There are people who have made a career just buying courses. They spend 10, 20, $30,000 on courses and never start a business. I know this. There are people who have spent $8,000 on the FBA. I forget what it's called. And never did anything with it. And never got it, never asked for a refund. So, yeah, we'll be talking about that in the course. All right, I'm getting ready to go. Um, you can go ahead and watch this a few times. And remember, once I get up to 15, 20 people, I'm going to, like, do an announcement, say, look, uh, we're full. Yeah, everyone needs to get on the waiting list or you can get on one of the payment plans to reserve your spot for the next class. So I'll let everyone know. Bearfield, I'm a truck driver, only one year in. I want to get my business license in LLC. I'm a year or two away from owning my own truck. When should I get my LLC? Now or, in, when, or until I get the truck? Now. And also, you need to get your authority. Now. All right, so with that, I'll see you guys later. Links below. And I was well, today. Today is Thursday. So if we fill up tonight, I'll let people know. Because I had a special wait list, so they got the offer too. And then we'll go from there. All right, thanks for joining me. You guys have a great day. I will see you later. Because I have to hit this. 
to <laughs> cut this thing off. I thought I did. Here we go.